Hi again. Okay, so uh, this is the continuous of the last, um, the previous uh, clip. Uh, here I'm going to review the what I said, and then we're going to talk about fundamental of computational thinking. As I said before, um, first it was mentioned in 1950s about computational thinking and how coders think is can, can be more than this. It's not just about coding, and they thought about how it, uh, you know, it's going, it, it taking all over the world. Why and how? This was the first mention of computational thinking. In Papert, 1996, started the uh, constructivism. And he, you know, he started with building ideas and worked on the students who can learn more from buildings. And that was the first time computational thinking was brought to life. And the, the logo environment and all those things uh, I mentioned. Uh, Janet Wing uh, is so popular because this is the most, um, this is the first time that scientists actually turn on to computational thinking. And that, and Pepper's time, people, people, scientists, teachers, uh, all of them were not certain about what's going to happen with computational thinking. But Janet Wing says, we're, we're not talking about mathematics. We're not talking about science, we're talking about all uh, life, all aspects of life and what we can do with it. It's a way of thinking, it's not a way of uh, coding or programming, it's, way, it's how you can think and how you can look at the problems of your uh, at your hand. Okay, now this, this is the new part of it. We're going to talk about what's computational thinking, idea if i want to solve a problem based on the computational thinking what's going to be what's the process of computational thinking and what's the benefit of it so the first one well the first fundamental and basic is decomposition it's simply breaking complex problems into small ones uh, so we can, you know, the, when you see something very big, you cannot uh, go for the big one. You, you, you think that you cannot solve the problem. But uh, when you do this, when you use the composition, it's going to be simpler and more manageable. But using the, the, the composition, it is easier to try to understand how a complex system works. You're going down to, business, to basics. Uh, okay, let's go to the next one. The next one is trimming or abstraction. That's a very, uh, you know, the, one of the part that uh, people cannot understand. Um, it's about actually tr the word trimming. It, it means you cut something to be beautiful. So it means when you see a problem, but you your problem is something that you have to ignore all unnecessary features and details in order to focus on essential elements. With the help of editing, we can provide a clear idea of the problem and what, what we want to solve. When you have lots of branches of the problem, you cannot solve what you really are into. Let's go to the next one. Pattern recognition. And of course, it, the the name uh, can show what it means, but um, we can simply talk about when you break something down, as we said, the composition into a complex issue to small steps, small problems. We can often find patterns between smaller pro problems, find patterns and common features in situations help us to solve the complex problems. So. Was, we can say pattern recognition is the reason of decomposition. You decompose it to, you can understand the problem better, so you can find a link, find a pattern between all those uh, little issues to solve the complex system. The next one, and the, of course the last one, is about algorithm. Algorithm is a design, includes a step-by-step instructions for solving the problem 
Okay, so um, for example, if you can tie your, you know, shoelaces, make a cup of coffee, dress or cook or meal or something, you must know how to follow an algorithm. Think about it. When you do a very easy thing, you are finding and following algorithm and instructions. So you go to the basics and you find the links between all the steps. You can now try to... Uh, you know, come up with an algorithm to solve the problem and follow the exact instructions. So when we talk about this, this is a simple, I tried to simplify all the computational thing for you. When you try to use these, you know, uh, process of thinking, this um, idea of computational thinking to solve a problem. Actually, you are organizing all the data as you're uh, you know, you gather a new, your income and then put it in order and solve a complex system. So when you face a situation in your life, there is nothing you can handle because all the things is not that big. It's going to be easy. You're going to look at it. If you, there is nothing complex for you because you can break it down into steps and you can give, you can build it up. Uh, so why we should teach this in a school is if you want to uh, if you want your students to uh, achieve uh, goals they can they have to have the skills uh, the skill of problem solving um this is a trend right now that m mostly in uh, our uh, you know area of uh, science we're learning educational technology in educational technology this is the, a trend nowadays and that uh, how we can think and solve the problems if if you see there are lots of technology around you because coders think in this way and this is the way you can solve all uh, the problems in hand and achieve your dream you want to have this the problems are not about what you really want to deal with right now it's about what you want to have in the future this is a problem. I want to have a spaceship. <laughs> and how can I, you know, uh, find, how can I have that spaceship? Okay, break it in small problems. And, uh, you know, I, I think using competition, I think you're going to have your spaceship. I don't know, uh, whatever your your goal and dreams is about. I, I said a spaceship as a joke because I wanted, you know, to understand how competition are thinking is not dream for competition it's just a complex system that can be solved in the future okay that that's why we should use this uh, for the next uh, thing uh, thank you for watching this but for the next uh you know uh, activity i want you to go and search for competition of thinking and how we can um you know uh, break down this problem i'm going to ask you to use computational thinking to solve this simple problem how to bake a cake <laughs> I, I know it's it's a little silly but i want you to go through all computational thinking steps that i told you and you learned and i want you to come up with questions and the process of uh, you know looking at this problem as a uh, you know through computational thinking lens so um it is it should be a short summary or it should be a short uh, you know a report of what you think and what the questions are and how you can make okay thank you for watching this and i'll have something uh, after this for you thank you